Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Edward. It's a kit in 170 second scale and by the sign here you can understand that it comes as a limited edition. It copies um, Czech version of BF109, it's S199, so called Mezek and we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review and it will be interesting to check what is actually supplied because it's a uh, dual combo as far as you can see at least we have two aircraft here but uh, yeah on the side you can see that it's a dual combo and by the way kit number is 2141 so now uh, first of all box size I would say it's typical for this brand here you can see comparison with my hand we have quite nice box art here and on the side you find uh, six marking options which are included here as well as a uh, short description of what are those markings in case you're interested and as far as you can see this well it's just written that this limited edition copy is aircraft in Czechoslovak and Israeli air service but here we have six more markings so in total we have 12 of them and this is pretty impressive combo I would say especially considering that we have uh, two kits out of the box and here you can see what is actually inside this box so we have not only the plastic parts but also all the necessary accessories for both models this is a top opening box and here is what we get inside so as you can see this is a matter of identical plastic sprues so we will be checking only one set because there is no need to show the same stuff again and again in my opinion and first of all I suggest we start with a clear sprue which is packed into the separate plastic bag it's a ziplock bag which is actually quite handy I do not throw them away I keep them for some future builds they're handy to store some parts maybe sub assemblies as well and here you can see this clear sprue so overall we have a really nice molding quality and obviously you can copy the open cockpit with these parts uh, masks should be included so basically you have all the necessary things out of the box and you are good to go to build them in whatever version you would like to. Note that one sprue features several versions of this, uh, let's say, main section of the canopy. And it will depend, the choice of this part will depend on the version you would like to copy with your model. Next, we continue with two identical plastic sprues for fuselage halves. They are packed together, so I'm going to open them right now and we will check one of them. Just give me a second. And frankly speaking, we have them slightly different because we have a bit different versions of this aircraft as far as you can see. And the main difference is on the fuselage parts. So this is a sprue which is lettered or named as E sprue. So here you can see first fuselage half. And note that it's molded together with a co-link and with the tail fin, but rather it's separate here. By the way, here you can also see the tail ending gear. Here is another fuselage half. Maybe I'll open the lenses so that it will be a bit brighter for you. And here we continue with some other minor parts which should be installed here and there but overall I think this is a really nice molding quality and if I flip it over we have some pre-molded cockpit features so they should look good on the finished model. Let's not forget that we are dealing with a 170 second scale kit so that's why I'm saying so but next we continue with the sprue under letter F. So I'm not sure which version is copied with this one. I guess that's the later type, but we will see in assembly manual. Note that the chin panel is molded separately, but overall design of this fuselage house is pretty much the same. We have recessed panel lines, which look quite nice. And next we continue with more parts for this aircraft inside. Again, you'll find some minor cockpit features as well as the guiding pins, which should help you with the proper alignment of these parts together. In my opinion, this is a credible design which should be easy to work with, so there is nothing to worry about. Next, we continue with slightly bigger plastic sprues. They are packed all together in one plastic bag, so here they are. I'm going to open them right now and we will take a closer look in no time. So just give me a sec. 
Okay, so here it is important to understand whether these sprues are identical. So the first type which I am taking out is similar for both aircraft versions. So that's why we will check only one here, you can see it. And it comes with a mix of various parts. We have a propeller here, we have also air intake parts, exhausts, some parts for main landing gear wheel wells, we have even some wing mechanization parts, which is rather, I would say, impressive in a 170 second scale. And if I zoom in here, you can see these parts a bit closer. So molding quality looks fine, even with landing gear wheels, Edward decided to follow their traditional design. So we have uh, tires molded without uh, wheel rims, which is a quite handy design, which should be helpful to paint the parts in case you don't have any masks. Here we continue with few tanks, some cockpit parts, and as far as you can see, we get almost all necessary things in plastic for the cockpit. Note also here the uh, cockpit floor. I will try to include the detailed photo in the review article, so definitely do not forget about it. Uh, the link will be later in the video description. Here we continue with another few tank, and next propeller which I mentioned before. Note that the attachment points are placed in a quite clever position so that you won't be able to damage the blades and this is a really important thing in my opinion because it will help you with overall build and you won't have to worry about any additional problems or issues. Next we continue with another pair of sprues. Again I have to check, yeah, they are uh, the same. So here we have wing parts and overall design is somewhat typical for a BF109. You can see we have two top halves, we have one bottom panel, we have also tail wings here and with some of the wing mechanization here and there. And as for the wing mechanization, this is uh, quite surprising to me because I mean even in 170 sec I mean 148 scale we are not that often seeing the separate flaps while here they are coming just like that. And this is really good because it will allow you the different combinations of the wing mechanization. Here you can see also the top wing halves, here is the bottom panel. And here we continue with some mechanization parts as well as the rudder parts. And here you can check these elements for the main wheel wells. As you remember, uh, some of the main sections for the main wheel wells, they should be glued separately, so do not be worried there are more things to be installed inside. Next we continue with the mask sheet. This one comes in a separate plastic bag and here we have pre-cut masks for both models. So it's not like one model will get the masks and another one will stay just like that. And as you can see they're pre-cut so they're ready to be used straight out of the box and of course they're covering not only the clear parts but also uh, the canopy. And why I'm a bit confused now? Oh, here. So <laughs> I I wasn't able to find at first sight the PE thread, but it's here. So there are two PE threads, one for each mo model. They are pre-painted and if I place them here and zoom in, you can see what we actually get here. So obviously we get some cockpit parts and it would be worth to install all this stuff because uh, it will add some fine features in a 170 second scale and they look really great once in the cockpit of the model. So don't be lazy, install all these parts and you'll be rewarded with a really nice looking aircraft. Next we continue with a separate plastic bag for decal sheets. So I'm going to open it right now. Here we have actually three decal sheets. So don't be surprised because there is one main decal sheet and also we have two with various stencils. First of all we are going to start with the main decal sheet. Obviously it is printed in Edwards so there is no need to worry about printing quality and if I zoom out maybe let's reduce the ISO and now it should be better. So here we have all necessary symbols for 12 marking options. As you can see national insignia is combined together with the various aircraft numbers as well as some minor elements of the um, camouflages or maybe marking options. Next we continue with two identical plastic, actually these are not plastic but these are decal sheets. 
But why I'm a bit confused, I was trying to find out whether they're absolutely similar or not. So here we have stencils, of course, they are also coming from Edward. And I would recommend to apply all these tiny writings as usual, because they're really um, influencing, they have influence over the appearance of the model, even in such tiny size. So don't be lazy, apply them all, and you'll be glad to see the difference. Next we continue with assembly manual. First surprising thing as you can see it is printed not on the gloss paper but on uh, matte paper. I wonder what was the cause of such decision. Maybe some let's say ecological um, consequences. So here we start with the parts map and what I'm looking at is how many parts will stay unused as you can see only a few of them which is also quite good because it means that all parts are employed for both models. We also have paint chart here and assembly process obviously starts with the cockpit and straight away you have to work with some P parts and also drill the cockpit for so be ready for that. Next we proceed with the wing and then we install wing together with the fuselage and here note that a lot of parts choices are dependent on the marking you choose so it will be really important to follow these small notes on which part applies where the same goes for the rudder as you can see then we install wing mechanization and here we continue with more alternative parts these are bulges on the cooling Next we continue with wing mechanization, so again we have several assembly options, whether you would like to have the dropped flaps or you would like to have them in a retracted position. And on the next page you can see landing gear being assembled and also there is a small masking guide for landing gear and the cockpit armor glass. Next we install the fuel tank and of course it's not necessary in case you would like to have a clean aircraft, I would rather keep it off. And here we have the canopy installation. So again, you can open the canopy on your aircraft or you can assemble aircraft with a closed canopy. We also have the masking guide for the first type of the canopy. And here is another one for the bulged canopy type as far as I remember. And of course, this one can be also built in an open position. Next, we continue with some extra features for the... So these are the blanks installed instead of the underwing cannons. Again, as you can see, their choice will depend on the marking option you choose. Here we start with the first marking, that's the aircraft from July 1949. Here is another one from 1950, one more from 1948. This, as you can see, are Czechoslovak aircraft. So here we continue with the aircraft from 1950 and this one is from the same year. Next, we have aircraft from August 1952, July 1952, and this one is quite interesting because of this red nose section. Who knows, maybe you would like to copy this particular type. Next, we continue with aircraft from April 1953, one more from December 1948. Quite surprising. And what is next? There are more markings. As you remember, we have Israeli aircraft, so here are the R. This one is from June 1948, one more from July-August 1948. And here we continue with aircraft from October 1948. And on the last pages you will find a stenciling guide. Again, their choice will depend on the marking option you choose, so it will be important to use the right stencils for your marking option. And as for the whole kit, in my opinion, this is a really great small scale dual combo release from Edward. It should be already available, you can get it on official manufacturer website. And of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about such a release. Do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.